If you've seen any of my two videos, then you might have noticed that I have a liking for top hats. Maybe more than a liking, but you get my point. I love top hats. Despite what people say, I don't think they have to be a sign of masculinity or capitalism. In my mind, they're just quirky, which is annoying, I know, but why do you think I've been wearing them for the past two years? Despite all that, I don't think all top hats are created equally, which is why I am going to be ranking them on the only thing we cared about two years ago. A tier list. But real quick before that, because I'm going to be saying top hats so much in this video, I'm going to have a little counter that goes up every time I say, well, top hats. I actually don't know how many times I say it in this video, so we're going to be surprised together. <laughs> Well, first off, we have the 1860s top hat, which looks pretty cool. It does remind me of a whole social status thing I was talking about earlier, but in general, it's pretty good and probably the most common top hat. B tier. I actually own and need to give this top hat to a friend, and to that friend, I'm deeply sorry. My texting style is like a weird drunk uncle of Casper the Friendly Ghost, who dares you to do a wheelie on a bike for $20, but you can't because you don't know how to ride a bike, but oh, I need to play it cool. Where are you now, Kelso? This one's really funny. The Mad Hatter, which apparently comes from The Wizard of Oz, which makes a little sense, but still, this is quite possibly the weirdest top hat or just thing in general you'll ever see. I mean, look at it. S tier, obviously. Mad Hatter, more like Rad Hatter. <laughs> the child's top hat is kind of sad. It's just the 1860s top hat, but a lot cheaper. And I know, I'm a top hat kid. This is how I started, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to put this in C tier, which is the essence of I'm not mad, just disappointed, but all you have to do is compare it to something like the Lincoln top hat. It's so cool, it stays together for miles because you can pull harder with less resistance. While the Lincoln top hat isn't as cool as backwards toilet paper, it still deserves A tier. But seeing as it's so tall, I think it's only fair to stretch it all the way to S tier and the eventual presidency. The square top hat, prince top hat, and the Victorian top hat are cool, but they're kinda boring, so those three are going in B tier. I feel like you should legally have to use a British accent when talking about the Victorian top hat, so I'll give it that. If you wanna make me sad, then show me a picture of a short top hat. I know, it's disgusting. You see, top hats are meant to be tall, but this thing decided to show up to the party and steal the entire six pack, plus make awkward jokes with your partner, which is why I'm putting it in D tier. I can't put it in F tier because, well, a top hat's still a top hat, and I'm the top hat guy. But let me tell you, if I could, I would get a restraining order on this inanimate object. Now let's go over some of my hand-picked weird top hats, starting with the more common. Steampunk top hat. I love this thing. It's majestic yet maximalist. I should say though, who wears this thing? Like I get it, top hats in general aren't super common, but when was the last time you saw this in public? At the end of the day though, that doesn't really matter. A tier. All right, I think it's time to talk about it. The reason I made this video, the 15 foot top hat. Now, unlike the other ones, you can't actually buy this. In fact, it's the world's tallest top hat. And look, this seems like a very nice guy, but 15 feet, really? If I become famous one day, please remind me to beat this record. Trust me, it's very important. Oh yeah, uh, tier list, sure, uh, S tier or whatever. Going on the thumbnail train, the glow in the dark top hat, or as I like to call it, the curse top hat. You see, it used to be $30, but now it's 10. 
Oh well, it'd be really funny if I bought it. If only. Wait, it's fashionable? So yeah, it seems cool, but also kind of a gimmick. So it's B tier. Moving on to the Kermit the Frog top hat. Yeah, S tier. But more importantly, look it up. I'm not joking. I wasn't joking. Okay, I'll probably do a part two. Not because I want to, or kind of because I want to, but mainly because my friend is threatening me. Bye.